welcome to the W Motors Veneer. So as a spot of context, W Motors are the guys responsible for the Lycan Hypersport. If that name sounds familiar, but you can't quite place it, if you've ever seen a car jumping through multiple skyscrapers from a Fast and Furious movie, that's the Lycan Hypersport, and that's from the company W Motors. This is the Veneer Supersport, and this is their latest, greatest hypercar. So what's it all about? Well, a little bit about W Motors. They are a company based out in Dubai, responsible for Dubai's first hypercar, the Lycan. This is the successor. And the fascinating thing about it is that it is in, designed entirely out in Dubai, but it has some very significant partners to create the underpinnings of this car that, that create the statistics which I'm about to share with you. So. The engine is a Porsche engine. It's a 3.8 litre flat six twin turbo developing around about 800 horsepower. And they've managed to achieve that by partnering with a little firm called Roof. For those of you guys who are familiar with Roof, you'll know that they are one of the most sophisticated Porsche tuners in the world, creating some maniacal engines like this one. And that's how they ended up having a car that looks like this and sounds like this. <laughs> They've gone and done it. They've gone and made a modern day turbocharged engine that actually sounds good. The next time somebody tells me that turbocharged engines are compromised because they sound dull, I'm going to point them to the Fenir. Whatever they've done, they've ticked the box. And I'm a, listen, I'm the first one to put my hands up. I love the torque that a turbocharged engine provides. I love the effortless nature at which you can build momentum with a forced induction car. But I have always said that they generally take away the emotion. Just the nature of turbocharged cars, they swallow up the exhaust gases and absorb them into some sound eating chasm. Not this though. I don't know what they've done, but they've done it. A healthy sounding modern day turbocharged car. Well done to the guys at Ruff and the W Motors. You don't buy these cars to chill in. You buy them for a sense of occasion and a sensory overload. And I think people underestimate the importance of sound. But with this thing, this is third gear. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Yeah. I think you'll all agree that they've done it in the sound department. So, what are we? Back to their technical partner, Roof. Now, the great thing about this is I think this should be embraced. At the minute, we've got manufacturers across the board partnering up with people who, let's face it, are often better than them at doing certain things. Aston Martin comes to mind right now. They've famously recently partnered up with AMG to develop some fantastic engines. I think that's what's happening with W Motors. They've selected a company like Roof, who is able to develop a characterful engine that is both enjoyable and dynamic and reliable. But the important thing here is Roof are a very established, serious tuning company. They specialize in Porsches, but evidently they provide underpinnings for other brands. These guys don't just partner with anybody. So as much as it's a successful partner, for W Motors, this is rough saying yes, W are substantial enough and significant enough for Ruff to put their partnership and name to their cars. They put their DNA into it and it's a big tick to say that while this thing is a bit coming from a very new bad brand and while it's a pretty new car and it does look crazy and you'd be forgiven for thinking that is this thing really that serious? When you partner with a company like Roof, that's a stamp of approval to say, yeah, these guys mean business. And if you watch this channel regularly, you'll know that I class myself as being somewhat of a gearbox snob. And miraculously, between W and Roof, they've managed to control this engine with one of the best gearboxes in the world. It is a seven speed dual clutch PDK from Porsche, optimized by Roof. This for me backs up how serious the car actually is. Let me just drop it down a couple of cogs. <laughs> Let's do that one more time. <laughs> Let me just tell you something. There's plenty of show. 
and there's even more go. The torque is outstanding. So, Rare doesn't really do this thing justice either. WR only going to be building a maximum of 25 of these cars each year and the production run won't be for that long. And at a 1.4 million pound price tag, it's not like you're going to be seeing these cars all over the place. But that's the point, isn't it? You're not going to be investing in a car like this because you want to be a Me Too supercar driver. You want to be investing in a car like this because you want to be unlike anything else on the road. And believe me, there is nothing like this on the road. It's, it's the styling. The first thing that you see is, of course, the way this thing looks when you walk over to it and you step inside it. It really is like its, its own thing. With it being born from a different part of the world, you can really feel that it has this, its own inherent flavor just by staring at it. You can't really piece where it's come from. And then someone tells you that the DNA is Dubai and then it all makes sense. It's got such ostentatious flair. But as a result, it stands on its own two feet. It's not trying to be anything else. It's we are W. This is our design language, and this is our offering. What I'm thankful for is that it isn't just show. It's backed up with quite substantial go. I mean, just one more time, just check this out. You hit the red line quickly. For a turbo car, it actually revs very fast. Now the majority of the outer shell of this car is carbon fiber and there's no shock there because despite the fact that this thing has a substantial engine block in the back, the entire weight of this car is around about 1,350 kilograms, which combined with over 700 pounds feet of torque and 800 horsepower, this thing gathers momentum. I mean, it doesn't so much as accelerate as it does create its own wormhole void that is punched in the air in front of you. There's no friction. It just sort of sucks up, gets taut, and after just a small amount of turbo lag, you need to brace for the impact. It's almost like there's an electromagnet at the end of the road that has switched itself on and is all of a sudden just going, you're, you're coming to me, mate. You've got no choice. Once you press that right foot down to the floor, the way this thing pulls and builds momentum is fascinating. And ultimately, it'll go on to almost 250 miles an hour. I look down at the dashboard, which look like it's been designed by Tony Stark on acid. And you wonder how on earth you've managed to reach numbers like that with just part throttle. It's amazing. The combination is fascinating. You've got the flair and creativity of a brand that has been born out of the craziness of Dubai. But then you've got the sophistication and engineering of a brand which is born out of German engineering. And ultimately, this car is constructed in Austria. So what you've got is a car that has the flair and craziness aesthetically of a brand that has been born out of the craziness of Dubai. And on the other hand, when it comes to the business end, when you plant your right foot and take your first corner, you've got the dynamics and engine and build quality of, of the European side of the world, which take these things very seriously. Designed in Dubai, constructed in Austria. And in terms of synergy, something that's going to offer craziness and flair, but backed up by sophistication and an engine drivetrain dynamics that is ultimately quite serious. This match made in, in heaven, no? So there we have it, my first drive in a W Motors car. If you guys followed this channel, about 18 months ago, I made one of my all-time favorite videos titled The World's Greatest Driving Road. In that video, we actually had the Lycan Hypersport accompany us on that journey to the top of Jebel Jays in Ras Al Khaimah. To this day, it's one of my highest viewed videos and everyone was talking about the Lycan right there. What this is, is the newest offering from W. On that day, I never got a chance to drive the Lycan, but today I've got to drive it on the right-hand side of the road in my own country, which is the kind of environment which I can get to know a car the best. Having had no experience with these cars, they drive as fantastic as they look, and I think you'll all agree they look absolutely incredible. Hopefully, if I can beg 
enough with the guys from W. We'll be able to spend some more time in these cars soon. I'm heading back out to Dubai towards the end of this year. So if there's any questions that you guys want to know and you want to see some more footage of the W Motors veneer on the channel, let me know in the comments below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Ciao.